let's start. Mm -hmm. um, this is our usual Delta review. So we're here to examine the patches that we're carrying on top of the upstream kernel uh, and just have reasonings for why we're carrying them, do we need to still carry them, uh, and what our plan moving forward. So right now I pulled some stats from our 3.4 RC5 rebase. So we have a total of 252 patches right now on top of 3.4 RC5, and of those 252 patches, 120 are sauce patches, 92 are Debian commits, change logs, um, configuration changes. 40 are under our Ubuntu driver directory and haven't really had much of a dev cycle yet to have patches dropped. So we just moved down. So we're still carrying uh, AUFS. We wanted to talk about our, it's currently disabled. Right, and we should keep it disabled for the, at least for the short term. Yes, but um, we will have to, let me take a note, we will have to revisit at some point. <coughs> Do we have any with any window on what's going on? I think the biggest issue is upstream is very quiet. Yes. Every time we try to engage with them, they don't even Well, I mean, David Bay was basically we were told that we can't go upstream until uh, atomic open goes in. Right, but also... But, and so they've kind of backed off doing anything. Right, and they just stop. But atomic open is in now, isn't it? That was the only forest back set. I mean, Eclos was doing something else. So it might be three to five. But I had the feeling I've yeah. seen that, not knowing that that's a fair gating. Um, the problem is we're still having uh, semantic problems with overlay tests that I'm not sure are soluble, as in it will never be product compliant and still be performant. And whether we can live with those, uh, LXC has been having trouble with the positive non compliance. And I, it's not clear whether they will ever be able to cope with the positive non compliance. And if they can't, it's not clear that we can resolve that issue. Um, especially as Union Mounts came back, frightening them again as another option. Union, DFS <laughs> Union Mounts came back. That small 75 pack. Um, so, do we need to have a I mean, we're just going to have to keep it. engaging with upstream. We need to engage with. Serge and his life about whether we what whether it's worth doing the I notify work, for example, which they keep saying will be enough to make it usable, which I'd like to see done, and we have most of, I think, barring some upstream fights. But for now, I don't think we need AUFS turned on because okay. OverlayFS seems to be working. The um, community member did some really good testing for us, sent us some really good results. I think yeah, I forwarded right. them on to you. Yeah. Um, so at least it should be good enough for CDs, which is what they were using for as well, um, for when we start CDs out for one. Okay. We should um, do some checking on uh, the able test patches, because I think most of those are actually upstream. It's just the new base to be uh, dropping in the terminal. For example, the security path on those are upstream. Right. So yes, before we re-enable a UFS, we would resync with the yeah. upstream patch set there, which would get rid of a lot of those things. We pro I'll probably do that as a matter of course without the limit. So you should talk to Stefan about this one every cycle. Mm -hmm. Because he yeah. has one. One of the ones, with some. Uh, actually, um, we need to look at that uh, again this cycle. I found out that actually MDAVM has now the capability at least to do something with the Intel software. Aid. So it might be able to do it, but not necessarily as root or? Uh, well, the problem was uh, that it created some stuff, but I read only over it. Okay. So I couldn't really do anything with it. Right. And then there are, uh, I think, <coughs> any uh, whatever other software. I don't think those are supported. Or maybe or maybe not. And I can't check. Right. It, but so but it's certainly making progress. So there's some hope it might go away. Maybe. Uh, Over time. Well, I mean, and the other option would be with upstream finally. It changed the, the user space bar to use the other in kernel mm -hmm. uh, rate five, uh, five, six. Oh, okay, so it's about a matter of changing the user space for DM four five, not the kernel space. Let's say. Yeah, well, in the kernel there is this module which basically uses 
ND rate mm -hmm. from DM, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, which isn't used yet. So maybe that counts, or we need to verify whether maybe NDADM can handle the uh, metadata format on this. Well, so it sounds like we want a, an action item just to review that. Mm -hmm. um, do we know where we, is there an up to a more, we also need to, if we don't do that, we should probably see if there's an up to date, but a more up to date version. Unlikely. I don't think there will be. Since last, yeah, yeah, I checked, but last time there wasn't. Okay, cool. This one. What is this? Luis. Yep. So I was working on the work around this driver recently. Mm -hmm. There is an upstream driver that implements that provides exactly the same function. So I have a new that test can be and they can be actually dropped with the same one. So, so you can just drop it? Yeah. You already investigated? Yes, yeah, so this user actually uses the Winstrom BTF BTNF something like that. Uh, driver and is able to use this And the other thing you should keep in mind is these machines must be about four trillion years old anyway. Now, the only problem with this driver is that it's broken. The new one? Uh, both, actually. Because, uh, well, that's fine. because of the, the, the next part, the next situation. Oh, so they both the got the same one. On the key is the kernel. This driver doesn't need to be there for the NX. Yeah. Oh, that's OK. We're going to rip out NX because we won't have non PAE support. No PAE, non PAE build. So we can drop the NX. Excellent. So we can drop that as well. Which is a big patch. It's stable though. It hasn't changed. But yeah, if there is no non PAE flavor left, it can go away. Which would fix it. You would build with no changes. Because there's nothing that triggers it. So is it actually not doing anything? No, it's not. It's all lifted. Yeah, it's all lifted. So the current pronouns, it shouldn't be affecting PA either. Correct. A very specific. Well, you're saying it is. Well, <coughs> harder an X would be Oh, right, gotcha, of course. So hardware so an X is the problem, so it won't fix this one. Yeah. But that's fine. OK, so that's good. Get rid of that. The Omnibook driver was disabled and pre precise. In and Oniric. And Oniric. No one has said anything. We're just. If it's not been used for a year, yeah. it can go. So I'm going to yank it. Going quite nicely. We're dropping it. The RF kill drivers. I can't remember what they support anymore. Can't remember and why. The name we doesn't really tell us. So I think we should just review that and try and figure out what it's for. Can I just disable them for now? Yeah. yeah, stick on the disable list anyway. Yeah. And we're probably making things worse by having it enabled. Yeah. As we were with F sound. So. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's me. I'm, I was thinking, why don't you scroll up? <laughs> <laughs> so okay. these are all our no up patches. And some of these are still there. Oh, is this because they won't take reboot quirks? The reboot anymore? ones was, yeah, they said they want a okay. more sophisticated uh, mechanism. Excellent. So that's why we're carrying those. Drops. Modularizing Visa FB. Stop boards crashing when cuts is loaded. Is that the um, parallel driver? Yeah, parallel. it's something to do with parallel oh. drivers. Some, some of these are just maintenance patches. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're some we should drivers. squash some of those then. Yeah. All right, I'll take an action. So there's definitely two there that should be squashed together, even if you don't squash anything else. Yeah. And there's a DM45 that's got sucked in there. That's probably just an error in this script. Or is it because it's tagged no up? Yeah, it's because it's tagged no up. Because it's actually ours. Okay. okay, so we can just do that. Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay, cool. Are those reboot ones taking that? Pardon? Are those reboot ones taking that cap? No. No, they're, they're back B versus bias or doing all sorts of things. Yeah, it's just yeah. silly patches. So the next session, I've just uh, I've got a script that takes this dump of our delta and just looks for the patch author. 
for all of these so sauce type of batches. Hopefully at Fest we should be pulling up as a separate thing in the Ubuntu Delta because it really is a separate thing. I think if we name it like the other yeah, it's an drivers. Yeah, so we should fix so the titles really. on that. And that's actually most of that top 14, 15, 16. Yeah, top 16. Yeah. We have DFS Delta to support overlay FS. Those. Yeah, there's a couple. There's one extra high off and a couple of extra exports, basically. But they come from the, the upstream patch stack for over They come with it. They're very minor. I mean, they're so minor they don't even affect AUFS, which is doing the same thing as BFS mangling. Um. Those top x86 ones should probably drop off, I'm guessing, in 3, 5 on the yeah, base. Yeah, I think so. Then we've got the... We've got one Hyper-V patch there, the storage SV one, which I would hope would be up in 3, 5, 2. Okay. And if it's not, we should push on that so it is. Um, the Pick X4 one we should drop and replace with the ones that we that have just been accepted upstream. So that's 24. Okay. But I, I've got most of these actually on my list to push, so I want to push a whole, redo a whole load of testing on the performance for the async stuff. Confirm that's still working for us and push it all upstream. I mean, basically, we're not really going to look at these now anyway, are we? No. I'm just adding it's a just work a item. So all these people are going to get work items to look at their patches as we do every cycle. Suicide your launch. Yeah, I see comps. Yeah. Well, you through it. So, all of that's gone upstream, right? Uh, well, it's sitting in Linux Max. 3.5. 3.5. So, so, those should just drop um, off a little bit. All the stuff that has Will's name on it should go away because that will be upstream. Um, there was one from thing you, me. which is Wine More or something. That yeah. What it always yeah. reports that so, comp. Is that gone upstream or is that something we so should be carrying? So, under me, Number three will be upstream. Number one will be upstream. Um, two, I'm yeah. going to fix differently upstream, but it may not land in three five. Okay. Um, so can you, so you'll just keep us in the loop. Yeah, I'll just I'll do a revert and push with the camp okay. stuff. Um, I'm trying to get a cleanup of the audit stuff, and that'll include a fix there. Yama, are we going to get an update for Yama, or is Yama going upstream? It is upstream. Oh. So. Um, so the, why have we got fixes for Yama? The um, there. Because there's no stacking upstream. Right. Ah, so four stays in. What about five? That hopefully will go away when three five. VFS changes. Hopefully land in three five. Oh, okay, but cool. I, so we're just saying that just clear naturally. Yeah. So yeah. we're just talking about that number five has been sitting in Andrew's tree for two releases, though. The so lane restrictions. Yeah, I mean. So we'll see. Didn't like that one much. Um, you didn't like it a lot, so you didn't push it urgently. Uh, you know what it's like. Well, then it mostly falls in the VFS or the VFS stuff, and there's a line. <coughs> just push it. Oh, that's kind of okay, cool. Tim's got lots of stuff. Are those just Some of those are just going to be They're all off now. Yeah. They're, um, and that's part of F sound as well. Yeah. So, right. Okay, cool. Set comp, we're getting rid of it. Oh, it ended. And then who does? Is that it? Yes, because we don't really have a very large delta yet. No, our delta is really significant. It's really small. Very yes. small. No. Okay. Are we expecting anything new? In Not that I've been told. No. All of, uh, Intel stops landing in 3.5. Yeah, I think a lot of stuff, if we have 3.5 for non ARM, which should be a very good place yeah. with a very small delta, which would be really good. Arm um, won't be Three six yeah. will be better for that. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, so, uh, one book one. Yeah. Yeah. Which version of your target is for the Intel 10? Is 3.5 or 3.6? It's uh, definitely 3.5 for now, but once 3.5 three, three kind of opens, we want to see what our timeline is and tentatively see if we can hit 3.6 within a reasonable amount of time kernel for you. I promise it could be any time from two weeks before release to only two weeks after release, yeah. with an average release cycle. But this one's looking like a short one. It's we might get it. 
it would be better for all. <laughs> as long as you're willing to release the three six as an SRU, that's a good thing. Yeah. Because that'd be your problem. Oh, I know. Your baby. I'd rather, if we're going to get to that point where we're talking about RCs, probably not, because we're now talking about the LTS backwards of the right? So. Right, but we wouldn't release an RC7 and then never change it. We would, would upgrade it. And we don't do the LTS backwards for. Real use, we don't really expect them to use them until they're a couple of months old. Yeah, well, we could drag our feet a little bit on. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure we want to do an RC backboard. Right. Well, I just, just, yeah. No. yeah, I think right. that. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have to be our policy if we ship an RC7 <laughs> on release day, we should not <coughs> do the LTS backboard until it's 3.0.4 or 3.6.4, sort of thing. So we've got a few stables in it. Does anybody have anything else? No, I think we're good. Wow. Well, Shouldn't be nice. nobody from the OEM team screaming for anything. Nothing. Even though they're supposed to be here to tell us. We're going to warm up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The screen's in the I think we'll pull out. You're going to do the, the work items for everybody yeah. else. Okay, cool. Someone check it. Email to put it yourself.